lab-based dynamic CT is new, and this is a huge step forward in the world of computer tomography. Our mission is to provide education, research, and services to industry in the field of materials engineering. The latest acquisition of the core facility on computer tomography had to enhance on one hand the spatial resolution and on the other hand the temporal resolution. With the acquisition of our two new TESCAN systems, we have the HR, which allows us to scan at 600 nanometer resolution, which opens up a lot of new pathways for uh, research. And then on the other hand, we have the Excel and HR, which are both ready for dynamic, for in-situ scanning. And that is, of course, a necessity for us because most of the processes that we study are time dependent. And without the dynamic scanning, it would simply be impossible to validate these processes. But what is really important with these new two systems that we have at hand and, and we bought from Tescan is that we can now uh, look at the changes. Uh, for instance, when a crack develops in a composite material, it is a very sudden aspect. But this sudden aspect of a crack development, we can grasp. We can also, while loading a cellular structure, look at the collapse of the cells. We could study, for instance, the cracking of masonry stones, which we compress like in a building, and then we will see how the cracks will develop and what leads to the final fracture of such a masonry structure. Then we can change the material and introduce new particles in the material that will stop the crack from developing in the material. And even further than that, we can also go to flow processes in Bibition. Uh, we can look at shrinkage and swelling of samples. We are looking at the inflation of biomedical tissues, for example. So we really have a lot of options in situ that we can do in our systems. And that's a huge advantage. That's how we change the world, looking for new materials that are much more damage tolerant, much tougher, and make a whole difference in new applications.